Hey guys, we're at the uh, Parley's Way House up in Upper uh, Sugar House, Upper Country Club area. We're just checking in to do a uh, walkthrough halfway through of what we decided to do. Uh, check on the last video. I was kind of on the fence about a few things, but let's walk through and see how things are coming along. Uh, we'll check out the bathroom first. So in here, uh, pretty standard like we were saying before, we're just going to do new tile. We're actually keeping the tile on, on the shower and the tub. Just going to respray those. Um, we've done a little bit of tear out because there was carpet in here, I believe, before. Um, just not the most appealing stuff to have in a bathroom. So they're, they're kind of doing a demo and a lot of the area is already finished. And these two bedrooms, uh, they don't have too much going on in them. So nothing really to see too much has changed. We actually are going to paint the whole house. We were deciding to just paint some walls, but it's just going to end up being cheaper to paint the whole thing and look nice. So I'll get started in a couple of days. Um, one thing to point out, actually, as we're walking by here, so we got one of these doors up. This is actually a door from the Oak Park house that you guys saw, the big $700,000 house we just listed. Um, we're taking all the doors, as many that we can, fit in here because here's our old style doors that were in here. And yeah, we could just paint them, but we might as well do six pounds. So um, we're actually going to take a lot of the cabinets from Oak Park as well, from the bathrooms, kitchen, and retrofit them into this house and the downstairs bathroom, which you'll see. So just a way of taking something old that may have been not good for that house, but will fit perfect in here for the style that we're going to do. So it saved us a lot of money where we were saying, okay, we were going to spray the cabinets and paint the current cabinets that were not that great. And we could just roll everything over into this project for nothing. So. Um, you know, one man's trash is another man's treasure type thing. Well, my trash was also my treasure just from the property. So let's walk through here and check out the back of the kitchen. Um, still pretty, not too much has changed in here. Mostly just tearing up this carpet area and there's some old, old crappy basically cardboard subfloor that we're getting rid of. We're gonna tile in through there so um, that everything will look a little bit more updated. Um, but countertops are staying, they're just getting sprayed. Um, we're looking at maybe just refacing these cabinets, new hinges, it's just all a factor of price. We're keeping the price really low on this one, we're not doing too much. Um, we may just paint all these cabinets white because it's a crappy paint job, so more than likely that's what will happen. Uh, coming here, these are where the major changes are. When you guys saw last time, this was all open, this was open, and then this area back here was open. So we've got framing up, the sheet rockers will be in here in a couple days after the electric has done, elect, uh, the electrician's all finished, he's working away right now. Um, but what we've done is kind of up the value because we've turned a three bedroom, two bath into now a five bedroom, two bath by adding a bedroom here with a huge walk-in closet. This is gonna be a nice, nice large closet. And then back here, we're gonna have the same thing, a large uh, bedroom and a big walk-in closet with uh, bifolds. So um, just adding value. For this type of a neighborhood, four, four twos, five threes in that area is what sounds. So that's what we wanted to create with this. It, it also actually helped the flow of this house when it's all done. Um, now we have your back entrance here. That door is getting covered up and, and no longer will be an entrance. Um, so the tile that we're actually going to be putting in the, the bathrooms up, down, the kitchen is all this travertine. Um, we got this for a pretty decent price and just really goes well in Sugar House. I think a lot of people like it. So that's going to be all the, all the flooring on the ground um, in each of the kitchens and, and bathroom areas. And we're throwing, throwing a half, half wall up here. There was an old railing. And so instead of spending a ton of money on a railing, we're just doing sheetrock and, and framed it in. Same thing with the railing here. It'll just be more modern, straight lines like we, go, like we always do. Um, in here, I kind of talked about keeping, getting rid of some of this stuff, which we obviously we have done. I was even talking about keeping some of this, but we had a great idea, like I mentioned upstairs, we're going to put the old cabinets from the Oak Park house in here. So it was old crappy cabinets, um, a new form like a countertop would be expensive. So we ripped everything out, we're going to paint it and put the new cabinets and countertop. We're still going to have a wet bar down here. Um, but it's just going to feel more open and have nicer cabinets, which will look a lot better. Um, in this room, we're going to carpet everything in here. Same plan. We actually decided to end up texturing the walls. Um, you can't, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but we textured this whole room because it just didn't look that great. And so we added some texture and we're going to paint everything. 
even the ceiling and uh, just make it feel a lot better. So still pretty cheap to do. Just we never fully decide until we're really into it and we get prices and once it's torn out we're like okay this looks bad or good and it's kind of making decisions on the fly still. Um, in here same thing I said we were going to keep this countertop, spray it, paint it, um, make it look new but we can get what we're actually going to do is we can get an Oak Park vanity that fits right here and then because it's so big and we didn't want to spend the money for new plumbing and a van dual vanity sink or anything it's going to be one vanity here and we're actually going to build a linens closet right here um, to just have more storage and stuff like that. You can never have too much storage. So we've torn the linoleum out of here and we're actually going to probably just tile it. The tile guys are here so we might as well do it. Um, and spray this tub still, you know, that's it's in okay condition. So um, then back here, took out the carpet. Even though the carpet was decent, we're just going to have it all match. And one big change, we didn't know what to do with this room because this bedroom here has a closet over here, but there was also kind of a closet here, but more like a storage room. So what we decided to do is make it the storage room. We're actually going to frame this in, and there was no heat in this bedroom, so it wasn't counted as square footage. So we're bringing the heat vent from over here. It's going to pop out right here. We framed in. We got heat in this room. Uh, the storage room is going to be accessed through the furnace and utility and laundry room, and there'll be storage back in here that they can use. So lots of storage in this house, which I think Sugar House people like because sometimes the Sugar House houses are just so small, you don't have anywhere to put anything. So, you know, a five bed, two bath with a lot of storage in Sugar House is going to sell quick, especially since we're keeping the price low on this. So um, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, not too much other, uh, not too much else has changed, but we'll be making big progress in this place in about another week, week and a half. We'll have this on the market, I think, um, just because it's pretty basic. So. Come check in and see the finished product.